Uh, I dug about an hour and a half, found a bunch of broken stuff, tips, and just yards and yards and all the stuff. And, and it started raining on me. I thought, well, I ain't mood to get wet. So I thought I'd walk these cow trails on the way home. And uh, they're just flint laying all over up in here. And let that go. Anyway, I got to coming up through here and I found a point. I left it lay and I thought, well, I'll go back and get the camera video, but this just up in the timber. Man, they're just chips laying all over up in here. It's just kind of a hillside here. I guess they might have might have camped up on here because this is right on the edge of a, of a little hay field. And uh, maybe they was up on the side of this hill. I don't know. But I thought I'd brave the seed ticks and walk through here. They're just thick in this country. But that point is laying right up. There it is right there. I moved some leaves back, but I put them back. I didn't even pick it up. Yeah, I'll be darned. Wow. That could almost be a could almost be a calf creek. Huh. Don't know. Pretty rough shape on the tip. It's heat treated. Probably don't show up, but it's really pink. Huh. Well. Interesting. We're gonna. I'm gonna shut this off. Whoops. I'm gonna shut this off and going up through here and see if I can't find something else to get out of the rain because it's starting to get kind of heavy here. I don't think this camera needs to be soaked. Anyway, maybe I'll get back with you later. Maybe it'll last long enough where I can get this on here. Anyway, I was walking along here, just looking at. Looking at a lot of stuff, and I happened to look down right there. And look at right in there under that brush. I couldn't believe it. That looks like a Jim Dandy Dixon. Good night. Would you look at that piece right there? God. What a dandy. I think I am in a spot here, folks. Gosh, what a beautiful point. Laying right on top of the ground, right next to this walnut tree. Kind of got me thinking, maybe I'll start right here. Beautiful Dixon Point, beautiful Dixon Point. Whew. Well, I think I need to start moving a little earth. I'm going to look around these trees and look around this ground a little bit more before I start. That's a great way to start an afternoon. All righty, I'll get back to you. All right, a little cleanup for today. Uh, what I found today, this afternoon, before the rain hit, and also basically all I found at this campsite, I found, started with it oh, a few weeks ago. Really got excited when I was digging this out pulling that out of there, but it's of course broke, a lot of broke stuff, big tools, broken pieces. This was one I had on video tonight that I was so excited when I was pulling that thing out and then all of a sudden, boom, it broke. This little piece tonight, it was just about all there, I don't know what it was, of course that. Uh, that's the second pitchfork. I stuck in that ditch. This rolled out. And I thought, wow, I am in a I'm on to something here. Two pitchforks later, this one rolled out. Well, look at the flaking on that. That thing has just got some gorgeous, gorgeous flake scar. Really highly heat treated. That's uh, all late stuff, I think. Uh Tonight, walking the cow path. Got that one on video. I'll try to put all these on. I got video of all these, so, in situ, so. 
I thought this was a calf creek when I first picked it up. It's got the shape of one. There's that's a possible big ear right there, but this side don't really have much. It's it's just not much. I don't know. It's just a point. Yeah, I wonder it. It's got the shape, but I doubt it. This is the best point I've got over there so far, and I actually found that. Well, you see on video, just laying right on the ground, just right next to a tree. It's about as classic a little Dixon as you'll ever see right there. Really clean. It's a nice little point. So anyway, that's about all I got to show you. So, until I get to go again, which will be next week sometime, this is Timo. Thanks for watching.